Hi, finally, you are now in the last lesson of this week. Here, we will talk about computer usage and applications in society and discuss various computer applications in society. Now, let's dive into it. People around the world rely on various types of computers for a variety of applications every day. To demonstrate this variety of applications for computers, this lesson will take you on a visual and narrative tour of five user categories. A home user, a small user of the workplace or home office, a mobile user, a power user, and a company user or a big user. In an increasing number of homes, the computer is a basic necessity. Each family member or home users spend time on the computer for different reasons. These include personal financial management, web access, communications, and entertainment. Personal financial management, most of the time, especially during a crisis, most of the people do transact online and prefer online billing or banking because you can access the web or any online services as long as you have internet connection and you can use your computer to browse over the internet, do some research, and many more. When you want to connect to others distant from you while you are having some tea or coffee at your favorite coffee shop or even when you are on a sofa at your home, computers will help maintain the constant communication with your family, friends, and colleagues at your fingertips. However, when you are bored and want to relax, you can use computers to have entertainment, and boredom will never be a problem anymore. There are various entertainment software and applications available. You can listen to music, play video games, watch movies, and much more. Computers can also assist small business and home office users in managing their resources effectively. A small office or home office includes any company with fewer than 50 employees as well as the self-employed who work from home. They commonly use computers for business productivity such as communicating with clients, or website publishing. Suhu users typically use a desktop computer, but many also use smartphones. Suhu users often work with basic business software such as word processing and spreadsheet programs that assess them with document preparation and finances. In terms of communication purposes, Web and email services are commonly used. Today, businesses and schools are expanding to serve people across the country and around the world. Thus, most employees and students are mobile users who work on a mobile computer or device while away from the main office, home office, or school. Some examples of mobile users are sales representatives real estate agents, insurance agents, meta readers, package delivery people, journalists, and students. Mobile users have a variety of computers and devices so that they can work, do homework, send messages, connect to the internet, or play games while away from a wired connection. Another category of a user called a power user and it requires the capabilities of powerful desktop computer called a workstation. Examples of power users include engineers, scientists, architects, desktop publishers, and graphic artists. Power users typically work with multimedia, combining text, graphics, audio, and video into one application. These users need computers with high-speed processors because of the nature of their work. 
an enterprise has hundreds or thousands of employees or customers that work in or do business with offices across the region, the country, or the world. Each employee or customer who uses a computer in the enterprise is an enterprise user. Enterprises use computers and the computer network to process high volumes of transactions in a single day. Although they may differ in size and the products or services offered, all generally use computers for basic business activities. For example, they bill millions of customers or prepare payroll for thousands of employees. Some enterprises use blogs to open communications among employees or customers. The computer has changed our society today as much as the Industrial Revolution changed society in the, in the 18th and 19th centuries. Various aspects of our society made works easier for the use of computers and the advancement of technology. People interact directly with computers in fields such as education, healthcare services, manufacturing, and even in the government's action in disaster preparedness and response. Besides, they can reap the benefits of breakthroughs and advances in these fields. Accordingly, education is the process of acquiring knowledge. In the traditional model, people learn from other people, such as parents, teachers, and employers. Today, educators also are turning to computers to assist with education. Say, for example, in the image shown, the teacher uses an electronic board to present the lesson interactively. Other people and companies use computers to help manage their finances. Some use finance software to balance checkbooks, pay bills, track personal income and expenses, manage investments, and evaluate financial plans. This software usually includes a variety of online services. For example, computer users can track investments and do online banking. With online banking, users access account balances, pay bills, and copy monthly transactions from the bank's online information system right into their computers. In government, computers play a significant role, especially in implementing and administering policies, disaster preparedness, and mitigation. Say for example, in the image, monitoring of a typhoon becomes efficient with the use of advanced monitoring tools and special purpose computers. In the field of health care, doctors, nurses, technicians, and other medical staff use computers and computerized devices to assist with medical tests. All branches of science, from biology to astronomy to meteorology, use computers to assess them with collecting, analyzing, and modeling data. Scientists also use the internet to communicate with colleagues around the world. Even many magazines and newspaper publishers make the content of their publications available online. Many vehicles manufactured today include some onboard navigation systems. Some mobile users prefer to carry specialized handheld navigation devices. This handheld navigation device gives users turn-by-turn voice-prompted directions to its destination. Today, the manufacturing industry embarked on computer-aided manufacturing. This refers to the use of computers to assess with manufacturing processes such as fabrication and assembly. Often, robots carry out processes in a calm environment. CAM is used by a variety of industries, including oil drilling, power generation, food production, and automobile manufacturing. 
The image shows the automotive factories which use industrial robots to weld car bodies. In this lesson, you were able to identify the types or categories of computer users. The home user, small office or home office user, mobile user, power user, and large business user. It was also discussed at different computer applications in society. This ends your week one's lessons. I hope you learned a lot about computers.